right there. And welcome. In this Reiki session, I'm going to help you reconnect to your intuition. This will help you feel a little bit closer to your true self and your true calling in this lifetime. We're going to begin with a smoke cleanse. Then will comb through your aura with selenite wands. Then I'll give you some crystals to hold on to as you receive Reiki energy. Sounds good to you? Then let's get into it. See the smoke and how it moves. Allow the energy in your body to move also. Release whatever is stuck. Take deep breaths. Let it all go.
with these two selenite wands. I'm going to comb through your aura and name various parts of your body. All you have to do is place your awareness on these parts of the body that I mentioned. And that's all. Using awareness, simply attend to your body. The energy of the selenite will cleanse your energetic field and your energetic body. Starting with the top of the head, intentionally place your awareness at the crown to open the crown. Open the crown to receive new energy, to receive consciousness, to receive light. Now, imagine light in the headspace. Imagine light filling up your headspace. Naturally, your face is going to want to relax, soften your gaze, your eyebrows, cheeks, part the lips slightly, loosen the jaw. shoulders and lengthen the neck. Relax the arms, hands, and fingers. the torso. You can take a deep breath in and breathe out, let go. Relax the chest. Relax the belly. Relax your lower back. this Now relax the legs. Feet. And toes. To surrender to gravity. Take in how you're being held, how you are supported in this moment, right now. Lean into it. Now, I'm going 
going to ask you to hold on to this ornament. This is a protective symbol in many cultures, including mine. And I want to give this to you to remind you that your intuition is entirely unique to you. No one can take that power away from you unless you let them. Your intuition is your wise discernment. It guides you to the manifestations of your deepest values. No one can take that away from you unless you let them. So hold this as a symbol of protection. Imagine pulling back all the energy that you've unconsciously, maybe unwillingly, gave to other people. Take back your power. Pull back that energy. Center yourself. And hold on to this. Here's another crystal that I like you to hold on to. This is Labradorite. When you look really closely, you get a little twinkle, little glimpse of the light within. That is like your intuition. I wonder if you can... Oh, there you go. I can see her here as well. This is a crystal for the throat and the third eye often associated with psychic abilities and intuition. So I invite you to hold on to this as well. We've called upon the symbol of distance Reiki, Hon Shaza Shonen. We've called upon the symbol for the true self, Daikomyo. And the symbol for power, amplification, Chokure. to rest knowing that the more relaxed you are the more receptive you are to this energy the 
more able you will be to allow this energy to flow down your central channel and heal you. And as you relax, you may softly contemplate the idea of intuition. Intuition comes you are doing nothing. It never feels rushed. Because it doesn't feel urgency like the mind does. To your true self. Urgency is an illusion. Scarcity is an illusion. You can never miss something that is meant for you. Your intuition is aware of the bigger picture and it knows every possibility. It understands the cosmic principles and it honors it. It will never make you feel compulsive with your actions. It may inspire you to be spontaneous Spontaneity isn't the same as impulsivity. There's a lightness and freedom to spontaneity. Intuition isn't emotionally charged. It isn't rigid. is able to hold both sides of the story. At the same time, it is able to discern what might serve you best. Intuition comes when you feel light in your body, when you feel free in the mind, playful, curious, open-minded. Intuition comes when you're able to take deep breaths into your lungs. When you are relaxed and safe to be yourself. That isn't to say intuition is absent of fear. Oftentimes, when we follow intuition, we are guided directly into fear. And 
and that's because intuition is in service of our greater expansion. In order to expand, we have to face the unknown, and the unknown can be scary. So, we have to accept that with intuition also comes fear, and that's okay. your intuition also knows the greater picture that at the end of the day you will be fine when you face your fears in a gentle guided process you will be fine I hope that you gather the strength to foster a sense of safety within you, to honor moments of curiosity, playfulness, joy, open-mindedness, and multiply them. So you have more opportunities to listen to your intuition. And I hope you have the courage to follow your intuition, even if it guides you into fear. I hope you see the purpose in your personal expansion. and the benefits that come from getting out of your comfort zone. There is so much to experience in the unknown. So many memories to make. I hope you have the courage to follow your own guidance. And lastly, only you can discern what's going to make you happy. No one else. And to strengthen discernment is quite a task. But I hope you see value in that too. Now, I'm going to count from 10 to 1, and with each number, I invite you to drift deeper and deeper into sleep. May you wake up feeling refreshed, feeling aligned, and lighter than ever. Drifting off now. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, 
to so much love, light, and healing, and I will see you very soon in the next video.